this up here still. Up there, I'll just let those. Okay, Jerry, I'm Hello. gonna do an exam. Tell me about your game. Well, this is just um, a game that we started. We haven't finished it yet, and we were planning on finishing it soon, I guess. Yeah. Is there and, a story behind your game? Well, well um, not really. It's just an alien zombie test facility. A bunch of experiments gone wrong. There's alien zombies. A bunch of different the things. The reason Jerry wanted to do that was because um, we have this one that's already on our iPad, and it has a bunch of monsters in it, and a few of the monsters on it kind of inspired him. Yeah, you can even kind of explain what you're doing while you're okay. playing it. I play it here. Well, basically, I'm shooting right now by pressing the B button. A button is to jump. This joystick right here is to move around. And if you move it up and down, it doesn't really do anything. So, yeah. Now, this how did those characters get in there? Well, we made them. Okay, so you made a character? Most of them. Except for the zombies. And the zombies, we edit them. Okay, Jerry, wait, hold on, hold on, let me beat it. Let me have some fun. Just a second, Jerry's having this fun. That's fine. Okay, there you go. And then, here's the exit. Oh, okay, very finish. nice. Okay, now, so you go over me. here to this little button. This. It says add yeah, person. Ease. I made that character. It's right here. And then, shoot. Um, so that's I don't know, those characters, are they heroes or villains? Well, you can, you Most can, like, you, villains. you can, you can change them, like, if it's a villain, you can change them and make it a hero by going into this collection, like, going to the heroes, whatever, and you choose a character, like, I'll choose one of my, my main, and then you can go up here and do a hero, an enemy, or an object. The enemies, you can also kind of rig the enemies so it doesn't kill your player, or you could just do an avoid platform, which we don't know what it does yet. Yeah. So there are a lot of variables, but can you have more than one good guy at a time? Yes, you can, but the others don't do anything. No. The, the, the main character you play as is the only one that, yeah. But as many villains as you want. Oh, heck yeah. yeah. And um, another uh, thing you can do to kill them, just jump on their head. Oh, well, you have to, you have you to do that as a variable. variable. Well, you have to do that as a variable. Yeah. And, and you can draw and change your character however you want. You can erase stuff. Or you can just back it and do it easier. And you can also change change. Now he uh, can't can shoot. shoot. Now he can. Now he, wait, wait. When he's running, he's he starts like that, and he goes like that, and he's like that, and then that. Like here, like I go, I'll go and get to um, an object. Yeah, he'll get to our flag. In other words, our way out of this thing. The the exit. Which is supposed to just, which is actually just going to be a checkpoint. We're going to oh. change it to a checkpoint, but we made it the end of this game for you. Yeah, and just for you. And just so so you, you used the term variables. Was that a term that was used in the game, or is that something that you just made up? Well, variables, you can change, you can change different things about your character, like I said. You can change what noise it makes, what he shoots. Instead of that, you can make it laser. You yeah. can change that when he jumps and in case you're wondering he has a uh, shotgun and he's shooting slugs pump shotgun okay. so have you thought about a story to go behind this it game? is it is he's, just... he's trying to escape an, an alien test facility uh, made that failed. was made that was made by the um, military and it was failed it was failed experiments and then mm -hmm. um, everything went wrong, and everything now there's aliens, really nice. zombies, and weird aliens with wings. And they're basically arrows. <laughs> now, on the screen that we're looking at, on your game screen there, I can see you have some lines and some trees and some mountains and things like that. Yeah. Are those part of a background, or did you well, make Well, that those? can draw it. Now, with, with yeah, we can draw them. Well, with that, now, because it's, now got, it, it's on that, see, look, now he has an area that he can get stuck in. You can also jump over a lot of stuff. Like this. Now if I time it right, I can go over and fall right on them. Boom. Oh. And I fell on some guys that were unwanted. So, 
as, as game designers, what have you guys learned? Well, never design a game that people won't want to play. Like this, this people will want to play. Because so it's cool graphics. Yeah, and you kind of want to design a game like this, which me and Jerry are starting to try to do. And so do you have any ideas for, for more games? Well, we're going to do one with the squirrel where you're trying to save the forest and you shoot exploding acorns. And we tried that, and um, and it kind of got deleted because, like we said, that the game spazzes sometimes. That's what happened, and it didn't save our game. Okay, is there anything else you want to tell me about game design or about the games that you've designed? Well, basically, we designed you... a couple others. We, we this, designed this one was my idea. You're an attack, and you're shooting tires. Yeah, or no, you're, you're you are a nail. Well, and, you're a nail or whatever. And then you shoot nails and kill venomous tires that want to destroy the planet but kind of weird. i'm supposed to be really fast but i put so many bad guys in it, it, it's, that it, it's, it's just so fast. slow and it makes it really slow yeah and see uh when i'm running i am a human but then i disguise myself as attack but this was when we were first learning how to use these, so it's probably the crummiest of our collections. So when do you find time to do games? Normally during lunch, but after lunch, that's when we create them. Well, we, we, we play games during lunch. Yeah, but I mean creating games. Yeah, we create them after, whenever, like whenever we have the time to play.